we are going to look at the common reasons for the removal of the auditor from office. Yeah, why auditors are removed from office, some of the common reasons. So the first one is when the directors have lost faith in the auditors, like failing to detect material fraud during the audit, so they decide to remove them from office and hire a new one. Yeah, when they have lost faith in the auditor or in that particular audit firm. Then where the size of the client has increased and management requires a larger firm of auditors. Like in case your company has been small and you've been using a small audit firm. So now you've expanded, you want something big. Yeah, so you have to change. Then uh, rationalization of the auditors. For example, if you're a subsidiary company and you have the same audit firm as the holding company or as the parent company, so you decide to change, like, like to have different ones. You get that rationalization of auditors in case you're sharing, like with the, with the subsidiary company or a parent company and you're sharing with a subsidiary company. So one of you decides to change so that you can have different audit firms, something like that. Then another reason is incompatibility between management and the auditor. For example, whereby you're always disagreeing on audit findings. So you decide to just remove the audit and get another one. Then threat by the auditors to expose management fraud. So you decide to let them go before they bring for you problems. So those are some of the reasons for removal of the auditor from office.